Okay, let's go ahead and begin the demonstration of 13.5. First one is graph colorings. Graph colorings allow us to uh, segment based on a level of precedence inside of a graph, what's done first, what's a contingent on it, et cetera, uh, relative uh, to assigning uh, color representation of it. First thing we're gonna notice is each respective ver vertice cannot have the same uh, color on it or its respective edge cannot have the same color attached to it. You'll notice on the first one, F of A, F of D, each of those are gonna be mapped to red. So the line that I'm hovering over, AD, that one would have been red, that one would have been red, that cannot occur. If this would have been blue down here or some other color, that would have been fine. But the edge AD cannot have the same color on it. That's why that's selected as no there. Next one here, A starts as red. So you have, let me get my pen going here. Okay, so A was assigned red uh, in this sense, it's on the next one. And then B, C, and E, let's see, B, C, and E, those all were assigned blue. So blue, blue, and blue, and D ended up as green. So between each of the edges, there isn't a repeat of the given color. Now, would this have been the most efficient way to do it? The answer to that is no, and that we're gonna to get to the greedy algorithm here uh, later on. But there, between each edge, there is no repeats that are out there. So in this instance, that's why yes is selected. Uh, previous color, how many colors were there? Well, it was red, green, blah, blah, blah. Red, blue, and green, so there are three colors. The answer to that is no. Is it a two color? The answer is no, because if you count the distinct amount of colors that were there uh, in each of the vertices, the answer to that would be three, hence no is selected. Completes the first participation activity. For 13.5.2, uh, we are going through some of the terminology that's here. For the first one, the omega is, uh, or excuse me, the lowercase omega there, of the complete graph five. What is the degree of each of those nodes is two. So that's how we're answering that one. Uh, the degree of each of the nodes, you, don't, you can't create uh, a degree three subgraph in a C5. So it ends up to be two in that instance. In this particular case, it would require at least three colors. X of C5, this is the coloring scheme. So uh, is there one that is less than or equal to three? Uh, yes, you would need at least three colors to assign to a C sub N or C sub five rather. Uh, so that's why yes is there. Since it truly is three, it can't be two. So that's why no is answered on that one. What is X of uh, C5? We just discussed back up here that it was three. Uh, so the value is three and is three greater than two, which is asking to compare between those two, uh, that XC of five was three, that one two, that is yes in this case, because the, the coloring screen has to be greater than the degrees that were out there. So that's why that one selected is yes. Completes that participation activity. Next participation activity 13.5.4 implements the greedy algorithm and assigns the colors based upon what I have listed here on the screen uh, and off to the right. So I'm gonna scroll down here. I've got those same colors, red, blue, green, and yellow as the level of precedence here. So when you assign where this one is the correct one and then we'll see what's going on uh, with the other two showing that those are not correct. So uh, you'll notice that the order that they've got this list here, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, on this. But uh, if you start out with number one, number one, you're going to assign to red. Now, remember that between each edge, you cannot have a repeat of a color, but you want to potentially reuse the color if you can. So number two, notice red and blue's been used. Now, but notice there is a connection between two and six and two and five. 
So you can't use reuse red, you can't reuse blue. What's the next level is number three, which each of those end up as green. Once I've completed that particular piece, there's no way by way of the edges there to get back. So I can reset by the greedy algorithm to reuse red again. Remember, each vertice cannot have the same color. So as you go down the list, the next one that would have been assigned would have been blue. So that is why that one is a valid way to set up by way of greedy algorithm. Now, let's talk about what's going on with the second one here, what's, what's causing this one to be uh, incorrect. Now, red, we're fine. That one set up the next level. And again, you go by the order here. Again, each one, two, six, and five cannot have the same color. So you use by, by the, its corresponding order, one goes to two, so you assign blue to it. Now, two goes to six and two goes to five. One cannot have the same color, so that's why you have to introduce. So those guys, again, uh, can uh, is set up fine. However, by the way that this graph is set up, there is no restriction of going back to that first color because you can go back up to the list. So this is where that one fails there. That one would have been reset to red on it. Uh, for the third one, and let me erase what I had here. For the third one, again, red was the initial setup. That one's fine. So red to blue, but again, there is no restriction of reusing green because two either connects to six or two connects to five, and there is no repeat of the color. So while Y is a valid color to assign to it, it's not the correct implementation of the greedy algorithm. So that's where that one falls apart on that one, completing that participation activity. Next participation activity, we've got uh, this delta G that was talked about in uh, the previous reading. What you want to do to figure out delta G is to determine the maximum degree of each of the corresponding vertices that are out there. So I've already done the work, and this was done in the previous uh, videos, to identify the degrees one through six. You'll notice you've got three, three, two, two, three, and three. The maximum value of all six of the degrees is three. Add one to it makes it four. Now, by greedy algorithm, the consequence of calculating that ends up to be the exact same thing. So how many colors would end up be using by the greedy algorithm is the amount of the maximum amount of degrees of all of the vertices and add one to it. So these two values are going to be identically the same. Is there a coloring that could be potentially used fewer? Uh, the answer to that is yes. It would have depended on how the initial graph would have been set up. So uh, in this case, you, this shows as an example, you could have used three colors, red, blue, and green versus introducing a fourth one. But it depended on what you started out with as your, your corresponding values. So that's what's going on with that one. Completes the demonstration of 13.5. Thanks.